Hi guys, a new update from the bird gallery. This breeding season is not going great. Missing eggs, egg eaters and egg binding, we have seen it all. Today I will show you how I check the only two nest lengths, those of the purple breasted golden finch and the eggs of the star finches. Checking your eggs, or as we call it, candle your eggs, is one of the most exciting parts of the breeding season. For those people who don't know what candling your eggs is, I will explain briefly. Put simply, candling is the name given to looking at the inside of a developing egg by shining a bright light through it. We do this to check whether an egg is fertile and to check at different stages during the incubation to see whether the embryo is developing correctly. So to do this we use a very strong flashlight, the brighter the better, and perform it in a dark room. Always be very careful but work quickly, the cold can affect their development. I will do it by hand, but to be extra safe you can use a holder which can consist of a small board with a hole in it just a little smaller than the egg. Even a phone will work as a light, just put the flashlight under the egg so you can shine through it. Eggs are normally candled after 5 or 6 days of incubation. The most critical period during the development of embryos is the first week, so it's best to be patient and only take a look after the fifth day. Hold the eggs near the top, between your thumb and forefinger. Tilt the egg slightly to one side and rotate until you get the best view. At day 1 the egg is almost white, with some yellowish touch. At day 5 of incubation you can just begin to see the tiny dot of the embryo in the middle with veins running off to the side. At day 8 you can already see a small embryo. At day 10 it's getting darker and darker and the embryo is filling up more space. At day 14 the air sac is getting bigger and you only see a dark figure. However, it's not wise to candle the eggs at this stage because you can harm the chick inside. The chick will hatch very soon. If you have an unfertilized egg, you only see a yellow spot after 5 days of incubation. The rest is white. If the whole egg is yellow, the embryo died in very early development. And if half the egg is dark and the other half is white, the embryo died in late development. Now it's time to check our egg. First, let's start with the golden finches. Unfortunately, we see that they are all unfertilized. This is already the second nest with unfertilized eggs, so I have to look where the problem could be. Now let's check the starfinch eggs. We have more luck here, one egg in late development. All the rest unfortunately died in different stages. And indeed, after a couple of days we found a little chick in the nest. And these birds lay very tiny eggs, but check out this egg. I also have some sad news. The white breasted golden finch did not make it and died a couple of days after I posted the video. I don't exactly know what the problem was, but the bill looks fine so I hope it was not a transmittable disease. Hopefully we can quickly find a new partner for this handsome boy, so we can still have a nest this year. 
Well, that was it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and consider subscribing. For now, let's end with our most beautiful golden finch. Thanks for watching and remember, stay happy and always love your birds. Bye bye!